Hey everybody, today we have a Toyota Highlander with a 3.5 liter engine. It is a 2017 and it needs a water pump. And the water pump is way down in there. The reason why we know it needs a water pump, can you go ahead and start it up, G Junior? Hear that noise? There's the look. The water pump pulley is uh, wobbling side to side, so it definitely needs a water pump. So, it definitely needs a water pump. So, we're also going to put a thermostat in. I have the new thermostat right here, because you have to remove the thermostat, and it comes with one big assembly. So, there is the thermostat, and we have a new water pump right here now i'll show you something that's funny about the water pump so this is a azen water pump and seal this seal let me get it out of the bag for you so this is what makes this job so hard instead of the water pump just being right here it goes way down and way up and then the thermostat bolts here so this is an azen water pump but see how that is looks like somebody took a grinder and ground that down well they ground that down because that used to say toyota so this is an original equipment toyota part that azen azen makes the original part so they grind the name off so they don't get in trouble so there's the water pump it's got a very nice gasket in there too the metal rubber gasket so all that's ready so we have to start disassembling all the stuff we got to take this torque strut out this these torque strut mount we got to get this popped up i hate these new ones because you tend to you tend to rip them when you unpop them where's the right there All right, I think I'm going to need both hands for this. I will come back after I get that cover off. Okay, so now we got that cover off. The cover is held on by just a push pin here, 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 and here. But I always seem to, to break it. So we need to get this torque strut out and the upper torque strut mount out. And then we're going to get down in there and loosen the water pump bolts before we take the belt off. That will go up in the air and uh, get the belt off. So I'll probably put you on a time warp and you just watch what I'm doing. All right, from that time warp, you could see that I've removed the upper brackets, and now I'm trying to get this bracket out. There's one bolt down here that's kind of in a bad spot. I'm having a hard time getting loose, but I think I might have messed up because if I jack the engine up, then that bracketry should come easier to get all the bolts. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the car up in the air, drain the coolant, and then, get the, then put the car back down 
uh, probably go through here and get the bolts loose for the water pump. I probably could do that right now. They're 12. And I think I can probably reach through here like this and get them broken free. So, yeah, there's that one's broke free. That one's broken free. That one's broken free. So the last one I got to get is the very bottom one. And there, all the water pump bolts are now broken free. Let me get it up in the air and get the belt off next. So we're underneath the car now. I had to take that shield off. It's got two 10 millimeter bolts and then it's got a push clip there, kind of behind here. So you can see there's the water pump pulley and there's the one water pump offshoot see how it says toyota right there so we're gonna have to disconnect this motor mount sometimes i disconnect it from here but sometimes this is locked up so i have to come down here and pull these two rubber pieces out and take the bolt out here the bolt out here and that and this one here i see has this extra mount here and we're gonna have to take that bolt out so we can get the engine lifted up but you can really see the water pump here I guess that's, I don't know what that is. Uh, I guess those are pine needles. So there's the back side of the water pump. There's the water pump pulley. Right here is the water pump tensioner or the belt tensioner. We'll have to get the belt off. We got all the bolts loose. I always take the bolts loose before I take the belt off. I'm gonna double check and make sure they're loose enough. I'm gonna get the belt out of here. And to get the belt out, you take and put a socket on here and you rotate that around and then you can get the belt off. We might have to pull the tensioner because it might be blocking the water pump and I think it is. So if we have to take the tensioner out, there is a bolt here and one probably up top. So let me get this stuff apart and I'll come back and show you what's going on. All righty, I got the coolant draining. And I got in here, I got the belt off. I got all the bolts out of the water pump pulley. I took the one bolt out of the tensioner here, the other bolts up top. I might have to pull the pulley off. I'm not sure, I haven't done one of these in a long time. Went ahead and pulled all the nut and the bolts out of here. And I pulled that one bolt out of that motor mount there so now I can jack the engine up because this pulley does not come off without the engine being jacked up. But I am gonna have to probably get this pulley out of my way. And there's another pulley farther up to get out of my way. So let me let it drain a while, then we'll let it down and get a piece of wood and jack up on the engine so we can get that upper bracket stuff out. So I have a jack with a block of wood underneath the oil pan. I've got it jacked up. You can see the mount is no longer in the frame. And so now that we've done that, it gives us a lot more room up here. So now I can actually reach my hand down in here to get this last bolt of this upper mount. And it feels like it's got Loctite on it or something. Oh, come on. This bolt is so long. Come on. There we go. So now that bolt will come out. And now I can get this. I'm gonna have to get that bolt above the air conditioning line. And there's that whole bracket. There's a bunch of bolts in that you have to take out. All right, so there's that. So now, I hate this uh, new uh, line here. It, temperature sensor or something always away. So now, this should come right out. We gotta put that back in before we lower the motor. And like I said, they've changed the thermostat housing to make this a little bit easier. Before, it used to have a, a metal pipe that came in and went up there and they've changed all that. And of course, they put my favorite thing, plastic. I just love plastic on cars. All righty, so got the cooling system draining. We'll have to get this out of the way. Once we get this out of the way, we'll go ahead and there's an idler pulley right here that you cannot see. 
and then there's the tensioner that I'll probably have to take out of the way also. It looks like there's the bolts for the tensioners there, so I'm gonna take this upper one out. Let me get the thermostat housing out of the way. It's just a couple 10 millimeter bolts here and here, and you have to take that off because um, it, bolt the water, it bolts through the water pump. So I might put you back on a time warp. So let me get this stuff out of the way, we'll come back. All right, I don't know if you can see everything, but I got the thermostat housing out. There's a 10 millimeter headed bolt here, a 10 millimeter, a nut, a nut, and then a bunch of bolts. And I took one of the wrong bolts out. That's actually for the water pump, but that's okay. Then I pulled out this idler pulley here, which is a normal right-handed thread. But then I went ahead and pulled the pulley off of the tensioner, which is a left-handed thread. So it goes the opposite way. So I'm not gonna have to pull this, but now I can get to the bolt. There's a bolt there behind the water, for the water pump there. So now I should be able to get to all the water pump bolts. So that's what I'm gonna get to next is take all the water pump bolts out. So I guess really I did kind of mess up. I should have lifted the engine first before I try to take all these bolts out because it made it so much easier. But going back together, I'll put this in with the motor up and get that all tightened before I lower the motor down. So, um, so it looks like it's a bunch of 10 millimeter and I think it's 12 millimeter. Is that 14 on those bolts? Let's see. Yeah. 10 and 12 millimeters. Now I always take and get the new water pump out and put all the bolts in the new water pump exactly where they go. So I know where they go. So after taking the millions of bolts that hold the water pump in, I finally got the water pump off. As you can see, um, I put all the bolts back in the same holes they came out of. So what I'll do now is I'll transfer these bolts into the old water pump for reference. Then when I put the new water pump, it'll be all good. And like I said, you can see right there, it says Toyota. And on this one, they've scratched the Toyota off. So now we just gotta get the gasket off of here which is a metal gasket. It's stuck pretty good. Pretty good. Now, is that just the outer gasket or is that the inner gasket? That looks like that's just the outer gasket. I want everything. I want everything. Have it right in there. There we go. Alrighty. So there's the old gasket. Alrighty, so uh, now I just have to put it all back together. So I'm gonna clean it up, put the gasket, put the water pump on, put the two tensioners back on, get the water pump pulley back on, Go ahead and get this bracket in. I'll also get that bracket in. Everything should be done up here. Actually, I could probably put the belt up, put belt back on with it like this, and um, we'll put it all back together. All right, everybody. Well, I think I'll leave it right here. I don't think there's any more surprises, but you do have to jack the engine up. You have to bust the two motor mounts loose. This one is a little bit easier because the, the plastic thermostat housing is different than the original one, but still, plastic does not belong on cars. So this job has been taking me most of the morning, 
and then filming in between. So I have to get this job done. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this job. I will come back if there's any surprises I forgot, but um, that's basically how you get the water pump off of one of these cars. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe, you can always do that in that corner. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my automotive videos. All right, here's a little bonus footage for you. Um, you can hear it no longer making that noise it was making in the beginning of the video. And yeah, I think next time when I do one of these, I'm definitely going to jack, take this, all this stuff off. Then I'm going to jack the engine up and then you can get that lower bracket tree much easier. So definitely going to do it a little bit differently in the future. Um, but this one is good to go. Water pump no longer making noise. No longer, uh, the pulley's no longer shaking. When you hear that noise, you can physically reach down and push on a pulley, and the pulley will deflect like this. But they don't usually leak a drop of coolant. All right, everybody, just to show you a little bonus footage. All right, thanks again for watching.